one thing to always remember when you were going at least, especially deadlifting or squatting, compression underwear. Don't forget it. Because your regular boxers, at least for me, it destroys them. I got some dirty shit to pick up at the drag team. I got a tiny bitch to pick up, I got less Selena. Shady hop up in the whip, but I ain't never seen it. Shady love the way I whip it in a two-seater. What's up, guys? Big Hulls here. Welcome to the YouTube channel. Um, tonight, we are doing deadlift assistance moving exercises. So, one of the biggest things I, I am a firm believer in is that to get better at something, you have to know what you're bad at. And I'm not bad at deadlifts, but my lockout is very weak. So, to get better at it, I do assistance movements, rack pulls, um, snatch grip deadlifts, deficits, um, lat pull downs, stuff to that effect. Stuff that works the lockout. So tonight, that's what we're doing. Uh, we're doing some rack pulls, heavy rack pulls. We'll probably do about five sets of one. And then um, probably just some assistance exercises, lat pull downs, rolls, um, hamstring curls, stuff to that effect. So it should be fun. Let's go. Alright, so we're getting ready to get this uh, night started. So I wanted to actually kind of uh, touch on some things that um, I use in the gym. Um, so essential items that go. I use when I deadlift. Um, we have the pre-workout. Uh, I actually really love this brand. Um, a, my cousin gave me this, so it's actually really good. It tastes like um, the red, white, and blue popsicles we used to get when we were a kid. Chalk, a good set of straps, and ammonia inhalants. So, with that being said, now let's get to deadlifting.
reason I'm doing rack pulls tonight, like I mentioned before, is because my weakest point in the deadlift is the lockout. So, a little couple of tips that might help you with your deadlift. If you are experiencing your biggest issue is from the knee below, do some deficits. That's going to help you with the um, initial start of the deadlift. It's going to help you get speed off the floor, build strength off the floor. If you are experiencing that your weakest and the your weakest point and the weight tends to slow down above the knee or mid thigh, rack pulls, rack pulls, snatch grip deadlifts. Um, that's going to be mainly your back issue. Um, I highly recommend all the above because all the above are great workouts. I personally do them myself, and I my deadlift is shot. Um, so, rack pulls, deficits, and snatch grip deadlifts are my three biggest recommendations for a bigger and better deadlift. So I actually have to perform a deadlift or a rack pull. It's going to be exactly the same way as a deadlift. It's just not going to start off on the ground. Um, they should start at least my rack pulls. I usually start them right below the knee. That helps me with the lockout. That helps me get the form down of when the weight comes right above my knee. How I do it, I don't make sure I don't hitch. Um, that I know how to get it up the rest of the way. Um, you're still gonna make sure your back is straight, um, big chest. You're still gonna take a big breath right before you lift. And you're still gonna make sure that everything is still aligned as if you were deadlifting from the ground. Um, other than that, keep it the same. All right, guys. Good. It was a good session tonight. I'm sorry I had to cut it short. My phone is acting up, and right now it's the only camera I have. But uh, I want to thank everybody for the support. Um, if you haven't yet, please subscribe, like the video, leave any suggestions down in the comments below. And until next time, Big Hoss out. <laughs>